The terror group Hamas has a new leader tonight, who officials say has the power to make a ceasefire deal happen. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Jesse Tenur is in D.C. with the latest de-escalation efforts in the Middle East. Hamas has a new leader in its war against Israel. But U.S. officials say that doesn't really change anything. He continues to be the person that calls the shots for Hamas. Yahya Sinwar has been the terror group's top leader in Gaza and masterminded the October 7th attacks in Israel. Sinwar is a brutal terrorist with blood on his hands, including the blood of American citizens. But State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller says Sinwar is the key to getting a ceasefire and hostage agreement. We are in the final stages, hopefully, of a ceasefire deal. That's the most optimistic U.S. officials have been about the deal. But they also warn escalation in the region could derail any progress. No party should take any steps to escalate this conflict. But tensions in the Middle East have intensified. After Israel's assassinations of top leaders of Hamas and Hezbollah, which are proxies of Iran. I'm not going to speak for what Iran will or will not do. White House officials say the U.S. and its allies are engaged in, quote, intensive diplomatic efforts to try to avoid an all-out regional war. Urge de-escalation. That's what we want to see. The U.S. recently increased its own military presence in the region, including moving a fighter jet squadron and maintaining an aircraft carrier there. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor.